Hi, my name is Bernard Parsons from Bcrypt, and I'm going to give a high-level overview of Paradox, which is a, a security-focused operating system that's designed for accessing cloud and online services. So that might be BDI infrastructures or web applications. And it re is really relevant for projects where these requirements come together. So for organizations that want to work online, access online services, uh, but need an enhanced level of security. So Paradox was developed in collaboration with UK government and it's been accredited for use in sensitive government environments, as well as public um, facing environments uh, for citizen access to online services. Um, but importantly, it's been designed to minimise the cost of ownership of end-user devices um, and ensure that the user experience is, is optimised. So the kind of use cases that it's been applied to, uh, secure thin clients, so thin client environments where uh, organisations need that additional level of security that you don't get with standard off-the-shelf thin clients. Kiosk environments, uh, remote access, so that might be for organisation employees accessing uh, services or it might be third parties or contractors collaborating with the organization. Um, travel kits, so a very uh, lightweight uh, device for traveling and avoiding some of the complications that uh, often apply to traveling with encrypted laptops. So the principles behind Paradox, it's all about detect, defend and manage from both an operational and, and a security perspective. So detect is knowing that it's in, it's in a known good state. Um, defend is ensuring that it's not susceptible to common uh, exploits, but uh, can resist ad more advanced threats. Um, and that simplified management uh, to reduce cost of ownership. So a little bit more detail about each of those. For detect, we use measured boot, which is a common technology today, but we extend that with what we call measured execution. So this allows us not to just know the health of the early boot and operating system components, but all of the software, the third party drivers, the applications, everything that executes uh, when a device is started n is known to be in a good state. And that's cryptographically enforced with a hardware root of trust. So if there's any modification by malware, we detect it. Um, those measurements can be used for remote attestation. So that is an exchange with a service, an online service. So you can expose services and have confidence in both the identity and the integrity of the devices that are being used, either by you or a collaborating organization to access those th services. So I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but we've done another video. If you want to um, check out the detail behind measured execution and how we use those early system measurements extended right up through the applications, please check out that separate YouTube video, which goes into a lot more detail. Um, so defend. Uh, this is all about uh, reducing the attack surface. So it's a stripped down operating system. We get rid of a lot of the um, the uh, code in, uh, that would be present in general purpose operating systems that, that can introduce vulnerabilities. There's a read-only system partition. So if there is a targeted attack, uh, that um, can't use the system storage itself to gain a foothold in the system. Uh, but importantly, we have our own application model and user models, uh, which prevent uh, applications gaining elevated privileges and carrying out something uh, that they shouldn't do on the system. So if we think about typical uh, attack vectors, so you can have something like a bad attachment or a bad URL being accessed by a user, uh, might cause some code to attempt to execute, uh, execute within the user context, or it might choose to try and modify an existing binary um, that exists on the system and then uh, gain privilege escalation to carry out some form of attack. Well, the user model and the applications mo model that we've implemented prevents both of those uh, from occurring. And of course, the application signatures means that any modification would be uh, detected on the next system start. In terms of management, so we provide a management platform that allows all of the application and policy settings to be easily centrally managed. But importantly, we have automated patch management. So uh, this ch addresses one of the major challenges for organizations in, keep, in terms of keeping the applications and operating system components up to date on their end user devices. 
Um, and if there is a problem, if there is some kind of uh, failure uh, detected uh, on a system start, we can roll back to a known good state. And that's important for devices that might be in uh, geographically uh, diverse uh, locations. So a bit more detail, Bcrypt creates an application, uh, an operating system patch set, and that's imported into Bcrypt Enterprise Manager, the management platform. And um, we can either host this service for our customers, that, or, or they indeed can do it themselves. Um, but what uh, the management platform creates is a single image. So all of the operating system uh, and application components exist in a single image, which are then downloaded transparently to those user devices. So the users don't know that it's happening. Uh, in the background, uh, the uh, operating system image, a separate operating system image gets updated and then gets marked as active on the next restart of the device. So uh, you don't need to worry about uh, any complexity. Uh, the management platform looks after all of that uh, for you. So in summary, a Paradox is a simple browser-based operating system for accessing online services. It's secure by design, having uh, been developed in collaboration with UK government, it's got that intrinsic security architecture, but importantly ensures that the cost of ownership is low and that it's uh, supporting a diverse array of hardware, so be that standard desktops, thin clients or kiosks. So if you want to find out more, please check out our website or get in uh, touch with us directly and we'd love to give you more details. Thank you.